Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the sun. I mean, it's true. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the lab where we take your questions and turn them into experiments. My name is Mitch. And I'm Greg and today we're going to be getting hung over for science. No seriously, there are a lot of claims for different scientific hangover cures, but we thought we'd take some of the more simple ones that are backed by science and test them on ourselves. The reason we got hung over in the first place has to do with a few things. As you drink, the alcohol actually promotes the excretion of many components like salt, potassium, and glucose, which are required for normal muscle coordination and brain functioning. But perhaps more important is what happens in the liver. Your liver takes in alcohol or ethanol, breaks it down into acetaldehyde, and eventually into acetate, which is easily excreted by the body. But the problem is that there aren't a lot of enzymes to convert it to acetate, meaning the more you drink, the more that it accumulates. And acetaldehyde itself is 10 to 30 times more toxic than alcohol, leading to headaches and feeling nauseous. We are here in LA with Mamrie Hart, and tell us about yourself. Okay, well hi, I like long walks on the beach, and my <laughs> name is Mamrie, and I have a channel called You Deserve a Drink, where I make original cocktails, and I've had more hangovers than a nation could buy. So we're gonna get you to make a drink for us tonight, okay. but first, we gotta eat. So we're starting out with fatty foods because it slows the absorption of alcohol into your blood and lessens stomach irritation, while carbs on the other hand prevent low blood sugar and ease your nausea, which is a good thing because I haven't barfed from drinking in a long time and I don't plan to vomit now. I love you guys are like lying in your stomach and like, I ate so much Greek food 10 minutes ago and I'll do it again for the camera. Like I think I get more hungover when I bop around. Yeah, I dance with everybody. I haven't puked from drinking in a good, that means <laughs> I think I had a pretty bad one a couple weeks ago. So you didn't throw up? Mm-mm. But I lost my phone. Mm-hmm. That worked and throwing up. No shit! Eating helps your body have more time to eliminate the harmful byproducts of drinking, but getting food with your buddies and some McDonald's after the bar is actually too late. It's important that you eat before you drink or even while you're drinking, because this can actually decrease your peak blood alcohol concentration by about a third. But I always eat when I'm already drunk. Yeah, instead it's like of before the end of the night, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm a cheap drunk. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Next up, we get to start drinking, but we're gonna stick with lighter colored liquors because dark drinks like bourbon or even red wine contain something called congeners, which are just extra toxic chemicals your body's gonna have to get rid of that can cause inflammation. <laughs> so now we want you to make us a drink with this clear vodka. Okay, well I figured a good like base thing is just like a vodka soda. So oh, honored to make yeah. 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 us a drink. Cheers. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. No, no, no. Oh my god, you're a really good actor! <laughs> Holy shit! It's like, we lost him! We lost him! Most bars will have a free pitcher of water and you need to keep your eye on it and keep drinking it because a big part of hangovers is dehydration because alcohol makes you excrete more water than you take in. This affects your body and literally makes your brain shrink. So you need to make sure you're chugging water when you get home and put a glass of water beside your bed so that you can drink it as you wake up in the night. We're gonna try and match how much we're drinking in alcohol with equal amounts of water. See, my body just normally has an aversion to water, <laughs> so, so so I'm trying to trigger it with the red cup. Boring like cheers. Have you guys ever been so hungover where you take a sip of cold water and you're like, water, dude? <laughs> water is good. Yeah, like, like you just discovered it. Yeah, like you just found the like... first freshwater spring. So a lot of different pills and substances claim that they can help your hangovers, but most fall short when actually studied. And in this video, we really want to focus on simple solutions and cheap solutions. But a recent study looked at something called Akibia quinata, which is an extract from a shrub native to Japan, and found that it actually does help in minimizing hangovers. So we've got our quinata extract. Mm -hmm. That's hopefully gonna help us a little bit more. We're gonna pop it into And happens. if this works, they will be making their money. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we should buy some Quinata stuff. Yeah. Cheers, God. Cheers. Cheers. Bless this. Oh. <laughs> Time for some more water. Water, yeah. coolest party yeah. ever. So we just wrapped up filming with Mamory. Oh Are we wasted or what? Yeah. Some I drinks. already cried twice. Yeah. So we just left Mamory's hydrating, and then we're gonna go out for some more drinks. Some more vodka drinks. I'm feeling kind of tipsy. I feel like I should have a hangover tomorrow, but... <laughs> so we got the Gangsta Cucumber Vodka Fresh Juice Watermelon Lime. Sounds good. Two of those, please. Cheers. Cheers. This is how you know I'm in LA. Cucumber mom. <laughs> Before bed, we took some aspirin, which has been shown to decrease something called prostaglandin, which ultimately contributes to hangovers. Put your hand out. Daddy's got some food. 
Oh, oh wow, I don't need that many. Alright. Do not do this at home. You're telling them to do this at home. No, don't do 17 of the pills. <sighs> that actually didn't taste bad. But try to stay away from acetaminophen or Tylenol as it can be harsh on your liver's enzymes. And in conjunction with all the drinking you just did, could do some real liver damage. So of course now we get to see if any of these solutions actually worked and if we wake up feeling any less hungover than we would have on a night of equivalent drinking. <sighs> Um, I don't know if it works. <laughs> I look dreadful. I kind of feel, I don't know if I feel as bad as I would having drank that much, but I'm definitely hungover. <laughs> I think I'm feeling okay. I definitely am a little hungover, but I got up in the middle of the night and had water, and I'm having water now. And I'm, I do think if I, based on that same amount of alcohol, had I drank that, Another time I would be more hungover, but it certainly wasn't a fix-all. <laughs> I'm definitely not, not feeling perfectly not hungover. It's technically not over yet. We have some morning routine stuff that can help that we're gonna test out. So we'll give a full review by midday of how we feel. Foods like eggs, bananas, and fruit juice help to replenish your electrolytes and contain nutrients and compounds which actually assist in breaking down the remaining alcohol and toxins. Okay, so we made it to midday and feeling a little I less hungover. I am feeling better, a lot yeah, better. I do feel much better. I feel like even though this wasn't a perfect test, I'm sort of comparing it to other times other that times I drank yeah. the same amount. This is not, I have been worse off, well, let me tell you. Yeah, but, but definitely I felt like I became less hungover faster than I normally would yeah. being drunk. Yeah, we time. drank lots of water, and again, everyone's bodies process alcohol quite differently. This was in no way a perfect test, but obviously being conscious about trying to not be hungover the next day will help you in some way. So thank you for watching. You know, follow these tips because they did help. And then let us know in the comments if there's anything else you want us to test out. Absolutely. And make sure you go watch Mamrie Hart's video that we did on her channel doing some She's really awesome science and alcohol experiments. It's really, really cool. So go check it out on her channel and we'll see you soon.